Well, good morning. It's Tuesday morning, another blessed day. Hey, um, if you're watching this, ladies, and uh, um, I would encourage you to come to the Women's Bible Study uh, today at 10 o'clock. Uh, Pastor Marsha has a wonderful group of ladies that meet. Uh, often I can hear them in my office. They're in the fellowship hall. I can hear them in my office, and they're laughing or just discussing the word and and just having a great time. So that's ten o'clock today, and we'd invite you to come, come. on. Even if you if you're late, it's not a big deal. <laughs> absolutely, absolutely. Well, the title of our devotion today is "God is My Strength." That's a good statement. Yes. Isaiah 41, verse 10. Do not yield to fear, for I am always near. Never turn your gaze from me, for I am your faithful God. I will infuse you with my strength mm, and help you in every situation. I will hold you firmly with my victorious right hand. Mm, glory. I'm always saying that God... God holds us in the palm of his hand, and there's no better place to be there because in the palm of his hand is where there's strength and peace and joy and everything that we Amen. need for this life. I wonder yeah. what the strength, I mean, his victorious right hand would mean. Well, the right hand of God is always about the power of the God. The power of God, yes. yes. The power. So if there's he's power, there's you victory, in, right? He's holding you in his right hand. Right? In his powerful right yeah, hand. Yes, that's you can right. Say, yeah. But then notice that scripture says, he infuses you. Amen. You know, he doesn't just pour his strength over you. I mean, to infuse is to inject into every molecule. Think about that. Into every part, not just in your mind, but into every part in your mm -hmm. body, in your soul, in your spirit, the whole man, the strength of God's infused in. That's Amen. a that's a phenomenal statement, right it there. It is, and and you got to realize he he does that, but he only does that if you ask him yeah. to do that, and that's the problem. So many times, people will cry out to God, God, I, why is this happening to me? What's this going on? Why am I being under attack? Well, you're under attack because you're a believer. The Word Amen. tells us that we're going to have tribulation. But the Lord says, I am there. All you have to do is call upon the name of the Lord, Amen. and I, He's going to, to immediately move in on your behalf. Amen. But, you know, we have a tendency to want to cry. And, and in our Bible study, we talked about sometimes people just want to feel sorry for themselves. Well, we've all had those days. Oh, we have. We? we all <laughs> talked about this. Every one of the ladies in the Bible study was saying, yes, yeah, there's been times. admit that, right? You know. Yeah, and like if you're in, uh, under attack physically, yeah. if you're not careful, you'll be speaking forth the negative words. Of, oh, I'm this, I'm that. And you're opening the door. To or, the enemy, or I, I don't have enough strength to get through this. Giving situation. up, or just giving yeah, just into giving it. Into giving into it, it yeah. And uh, so we've talked about mm -hmm. that, the importance of what we say and the choices we make, you Amen. know. Psalms 37, verse 39 says this, He is their strength in the times of trouble. Amen. Amen. Not just in the good times, but even in the times of trouble. And in Exodus 15, 2, it says, The Lord is my strength and my song, and he has become my salvation. Amen. Ooh, I'll tell you, the joy of the Lord puts a song. When, really, when you're infused with the strength of God into, the, in, into your being, innermost being, um, I, to me, that's when uh, all of a sudden I have a song starts coming out of my heart. I, I just love to do right. that. When you do that, <laughs> the enemy's whip. Yes, he but is already defeated. If you give in to the situation and, and, and uh, uh, feel a weakness and not, not stand strong on the word, he will run over you. Yeah. He will. He will. S Psalms 28. Let me give you one more scripture. Psalms 28, 7. The Lord is my strength and shield. I will trust him with all my heart. He helps me. And my heart is filled with joy, and I burst out with songs of thanksgiving. You see what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. You know, when, when that strength infuses you, literally, it's like there's a song that just rises up. And as you start you to, to praise begin to him, thank him, yeah, and as you praise him, the enemy's defeated. He knows Absolutely. he's defeated. Absolutely. He knows he can't stop you. And the Holy Spirit is, is our, our helper to do yeah. this. And as we cry out to God, he's living within us. And as we cry out to God, that's where that infusion Amen. and that power comes from. Yes. It's the Holy Spirit to Amen. stand strong against the situation. Praise God. Well, no matter what you're going through today, 
and, and all of us have challenges in our life, no matter what you're going through, I want you to know, number one, you're not alone, as we said yesterday, and number two, it is God's strength that infuses you. Begin to speak that strength, his strength, over you in every situation that you're in. God bless you. We love you. Have a blessed day.